So holy shit, that looks dark. dark. Did I just pick the wrong thing? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for clicking on today's video. If you're new to my channel, I have a hair in my mouth. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment and pause this video and go right ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And do not forget to hit that notification bell which informs you of future uploads. Today's video is going to be one of my favorite types of videos to film. Also, you guys' favorite types of videos from me. So I'm so happy to be bringing this video today. Today's video is going to be a foundation review. Yay! Round of applause for a foundation a review. I have a few more. I have a few more foundations I want to get to review for you guys, like the new Laura Mercier one, um, the new uh, Hourglass one, because you guys know I love the stick foundation for Hourglass, so I need to get the liquid just to see how good it is. Um, I'm not sure if I want to get the Morphe one, but we'll see, because um, I need to try some drugstore ones. <clears throat> but today's video is going to be a review on a drugstore foundation. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation i know i'm a little late on the bandwagon with this one but your girl couldn't get it over here it was like hard to get and normally new makeup that comes out in the states it takes like a little like a few months to get here in kuwait so i got my foundation from the nyx store here in kuwait at the avenues mall this one is in the shade nutmeg i paid about 6kd something i will do the conversion on the screen from kd to us um if you're again if you're new to my channel i am currently living in kuwait so that's why i'm saying saying kd kd is kuwait dollars or kuwait dinars um let's give you some specs on this foundation shall we um this foundation retails for 15 us dollars comes in 45 shades 45 shades is a lot um, it's marketed as a lightweight waterproof and pigmented AF um, it's also marketed as a full coverage foundation that is matte and it's for all skin types and it lasts for 24 hours now your girl normally wears these foundation these foundations when doing the reviews and then come back and let you guys know so i'm kind of still doing that um except i'm breaking the seal on camera as you guys can see the seal is still on there um so this is how i'm gonna do this foundation review today i'm gonna go ahead and wear it all day long maybe i might work to go to the gym i don't know um normally wearing foundations to the gym can fucking clog your pores and cause breakouts and your girl face is looking flawless right now and i kind of don't want to do that but um since it's claiming to be waterproof yeah so we'll see um if i'll do that now is about whoa now it's 10 39 i don't know if you guys can see that 10 39 in the morning here um so i'm gonna put this foundation on you know give you my first impressions kind of thing about the foundation then I'll go ahead and wear it throughout the day, doing my everyday stuff, see how it holds up. We'll probably check in maybe every 2-3 hours to show you guys how it's looking, what it oxidized, what it's creasing, the whole nine yard. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna break the seal on camera. I got the shade Nutmeg. Um, this one looks the closest match to me. I did swatch it on my hand, on the back of my hand in the store in the next store and this one came the closest match it kind of looks dark but again i'm matching this to my body and not to my face because everyone's face is lighter than their actual body because we wash our face exfoliate and do all the works constantly to our face and therefore that's why our face tend to look lighter than our body because the one before this is way too light and the one after this is too dark so this one is, it seems to be right. So let's zoom you guys in and get started. Before we get started, just letting you guys know I have nothing on my face currently. And what I want to do right now is do a comparison swatch to two of my current favorite foundations that I use a lot. Um, well, that is really good match on me. So I want to do a comparison video just to see how the shade Nutmeg matches to my other foundation. So I'm going to be swatching the... Fenty foundation, this is in the shade 350, and also the NARS foundation in the shade 
Tahoe. So I'm gonna go ahead and do swatches of these two foundations and then compare it to the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation shade. Um, also, I will be leaving um, my foundation my foundation review videos list down below in the description box if you want to go ahead and check out the other foundations that i reviewed here on my channel go ahead and do that and also i will be listing a bunch of foundations and their shades if you guys are any you know any of those shades then maybe you can gauge as to whether or not nutmeg will be suitable for you i'm gonna go ahead and swatch the nyx can't stop one stop foundation on the face first i'm gonna shake that up first which is what the foundation looks like um it's definitely not runny it's not it's not moving so um it's not that thick and then again it's it's not that thick and again it's not that runny so i'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit on the back of this brush this is the e27 brush from morphe on swatch right here so right there like so So holy shit, that looks dark. dark. Did I just pick the wrong shade? So this is the nutmeg shade. This definitely looks too dark for me. I think I might be an in-between shade because I definitely did not find a shade that matches me. Oh wow, that's dark. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this brush off so I can use the same brush. I'm using the Deep Clean Purifying Micellar Water from Neutrogena. Um, I'm just putting a little bit on this cotton pad and cleaning the brush off. Shit, man. That looks dark. Woo! Am I going to be able to wear this foundation? Watch. This is going to be a fail video. I'm going to be so disappointed. The next foundation I'm going to swatch is my Fenty foundation. And I'm gonna swatch it right next to. Ugh, get this hair back. So this is the Fenty foundation right here. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it right next to this shade. So we're gonna put it right there. Okay. Definitely lighter than. Oh my God, this is too dark so mad man this is gonna be a, psh, a fail until i get the right shape this sucks i'll just put it in my kit that's all no big deal just need to get another one and i'm gonna go ahead and swatch the nars foundation in the shade tahoe so this is the nars foundation right here so i'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of that and I'm going to swatch it right there. Okay, all three foundations are like literally different shades. Oh, wow. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Oh, we're all the way zoomed in. Let's come closer, camera. So these are the three foundations. Ah, This is my first fail foundation review video. I'm going to have to get the correction in order to um in order to review it for you guys because this definitely is not my shade or or is it we'll still try it and see how it works um so this is the nyx so this is the nyx can't stop won't stop in the shade nutmeg this is my fenty foundation in the shade 350 and this is my nars foundation i think it's the radiant foundation in the shade tahoe now for all those people out there who always tell me that um my fenty 350 is too dark like i swear under my fenty review video a lot of people say oh it says that's too dark for you oh that's definitely not your shade you need to go a shade down okay look it is not you're comparing it to a really darker shade and look at my skin and the fenty foundation in 350 it matches me so don't come at me with that I don't know like when I swatch it in the store it literally blended into my skin do you see that this is the NYX right here I don't know we're gonna try it see you know it's literally gonna be a disaster I will clean that oops I will clean that off and prime the face and get started
I'm gonna use my concealer and so on. It may match. We'll see. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty primer. Um, the foundation did come with primer, but I'm a firm believer in if something works for you, girl, don't change it. And this primer has never let me down. Um, I use it with all my foundations, like literally all my foundations. So I'm gonna keep to this primer. And the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation primer that came with this foundation, it, um, it modifies your skin and I don't like modifying, I mean a modifying foundation on top of a modifying primer that is too dry, it's like desert dry. Um, I'm, I live here, I don't want to look like it, okay? Uh, and the Fenty Primer has a little bit of um, moisturizing thing about it. So I think it will, even though it's a soft matte primer, I think it will look great with this. So I'm going to go with one pump first. I'm just going to dot this all over the face. Maybe it will match, we'll see. Let's see you guys in a little bit. First, I'm going to go in with my foundation brush. This brush is from Luxie. It's the 660 Precision Foundation Brush. Best brushes on the market currently. I'm spraying this with some of my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. And let's go ahead and blend this out. So I'm going to be tapping this to blend it. And I went in with a light amount at first and then I will build it up where it is needed. Okay, yeah, this definitely is too dark for your girl. Uh. By the way, my brows, I did um, do a separate video. That's going to definitely be the first video to go up. So I did a video how I did my brows for 2019. Because normally when I do an, a tutorial and stuff like that, I don't show doing my brows. So you guys can go back to that video for reference at any time if you want. And basically see how I do my brows. So... Uh, this foundation is too dark for me. I mean, like I said, my face, I'm not matching this to my face. I don't know if I want to continue a real minute video. Mm. Mm. I don't know, it's... Okay, let's, let, let, let me zoom you guys out. And let's check the neck area. Mm. Yeah, that, this is too dark. I can't continue filming that video, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna continue filming this video, but I will upload it because it's kind of funny. Because this is the first time this is happening to me. So what I'm going to do is put this foundation in my kit, for sure. I'll put it in my kit. Yeah, that doesn't match me at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my kit, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the correct shade. Don't know when I will. Probably. Oh, this is a disaster. When can I get the shade? Because I literally did like swatches of the shades before this shade and it looked white on my hand. Like white. So <clears throat> I think I might have to mix shades. Possibility. So I have to mix shades. Now what I can do for me if I want to still wear a foundation. I have a white foundation from Ellie Girl. It's the... Um, uh, crap. It's, prob it's probably in my kit. I normally keep it in my kit in case I, I got a foundation and it doesn't match my client. Whether it's too dark or it needs to be more light, I usually put that white foundation in there. Um, rather than going and buy a whole bunch of different shades. Um, so what I can do if I want is add a drop of that white foundation into this foundation to lighten it up. Or one, I get the shade down from this foundation and see how it matches me as a sample. Not the whole bottle. Try to get a sample of the shade down. 
um, I'll see if I can go to the mall and get that tomorrow if not uh, you guys will have to wait until the end of the month um, no I'll try to go to the store and see if I can get a sample of the shade down um, but yeah this is a fail I'm not gonna go out with my face looking way darker than my body uh, it don't make more sense I know a lot of people still would normally continue filming because they just want to see the um, just how the foundation wears or whatever but ugh, I'm not doing that sorry but right now what I can tell you is that it's it's feeling very light on the face and uh, let's see if there's any transfer there is no transfer going on in the face right now which is good okay thanks for watching um, please go <laughs> this I've never filmed a video like this ever before uh, this is so disappointing to me honestly it is I'll catch you guys in another video I don't know I don't know what else to say later guys bye